First, let's tackle hiding the Powered by Drupal block. The quickest way to hide this is to go back to a page where the block is showing, hover over the block, and click the Quick Edit link here, and select Configure Block. We can then scroll down to the bottom and click Delete. We can also select under region, none, and this will keep the block around but hide it from any region. So there are a couple of new concepts in here. One is the idea of a block. The second is the idea of a region. Since we used the quick edit link, we went straight to the block configuration and bypassed the block layout configuration. Let's take a look at that page. I'm gonna go to structure and block layout. So the first thing to understand is the idea of regions. And we can see what regions are used by clicking this demonstrate block regions here. So you can see that this is roughly our site. There's a header up here and the footer down here, and then a bunch of stuff in between. Every yellow box that you see is describing one of the regions. Our primary menu is where our tabs are showing up right now. The breadcrumb region is where we see the breadcrumbs to the left. We have our content region, and so on. Depending on what theme you're using, the regions will probably change as the size of the browser changes. This is called responsive design. So you can see as we get smaller, I'm gonna hide this menu, that our content region gets bumped above the sidebar first and sidebar second. And if we go even smaller, everything gets condensed into a single column. So blocks are pieces of self-contained content that you can put in any region. 